Good morning. It's a lovely sunny day again here in South Wales. Uh, so uh, I'm doing my revisited uh, series at the moment. As you may be aware, I've done Jet Hotel uh, deluxe box sets and um, some other bands that uh, I've I added to my collection. So today it's The Who. Um, so we're going to kick off with the original vinyl albums that I bought back in the day. Uh, I had much more than this back in the day, but through losing them from moves and uh, breakups of relationships and all sorts of things, I'm sure we've all been there. Um, so I'm going to kick on to stop boring you with my uh, history. So here we go. This is uh, this is the story of the Who. It's a double album. Uh, it was released uh, around about 1975, 76, I do believe, at the time of Who by numbers. Um, so we got exploding uh, pinball machine on there. I guess we all know that's a little too. It's a fold out, so there's a bit of a, a little, little pamphlet, I suppose. You can cut it up, it's a few pages, uh, and some things like that. Um, there's no tracks, I don't believe there's no tracks off Quadrophenia, and it says something about that in the writing that the Who did want that to uh, put on there. So that's the story of the Who in the 70s. This is another compilation, or a slightly different one. This is uh, an original version of. Uh, Odds and Sods, with the band there in uh, American football helmets, and uh, it's got the die cuts and stuff and everything, and the, and the braille on the back. It's got braille on the back, if you don't know that. Uh, and it's a mop-up of uh, off-cuts, I suppose, hence the title. I think it was supervised by John Entwistle at the time. Uh, so that's Odds and Sods. That's an original version. Um, for me, the classic uh, Who... Compilation, meaty, beaty, big and bouncy. And they're into the pet names, perhaps, for the boys who are looking at themselves as as children. It's not obviously not them as children, but that's them as adults. Uh, and then on the back, it's a reverse picture of that. Uh, you couldn't want a better lineup of tracks than on here. Yeah. Uh, and if you're going to buy one uh, LP, uh, this is not a bad one. Meaty, beaty, good, bouncy. Completion from the 70s. I think it may have been the first or second, uh, first officially sort of completion. This is the Who by Numbers uh, with a join the dots picture on the front of the band. Uh, these were uh, numbered, and this is uh, 102,899. 100, 100, so God knows how many were the number down there at the bottom or somewhere. Yeah. Uh, it is a good album. Not uh, after a few concept albums and stuff. It was uh, back to an album. Album, I suppose. Some good songs on there. This is the Who by Numbers. Uh, as I said, now we're on to uh, ones I bought since I got back into vinyl several years ago. Uh, we refit, refitted my collection. To what? It's quite a phenia. Yeah. Uh, this is a double, double gate for again with a little um, carry a book, but a sort of pamphlet in there. Uh, story, uh, second rock opera, if you would want, I guess. Cla I think it's uh, it works very well. It's aged well, I think. The, uh, the performances of the stage over the last 20 or so years have confirmed that it is an excellent album. And Jimmy has the bars on his uh, scooter there. Picture of the scooter in the thing on the back. That's Quadrovenia. Uh, this is Tommy. Personally, I prefer Tommy over Quadrophenia, but I can change my opinion on that from day to day. I do listen to them both. Uh, it's got the triple fold out, fold, fold out sort of, no, it has not Triple fold out, sorry, apologies. Triple uh, album, oh, wait, there's uh, old age, I believe, not for. Triple fold out sleeve. Double album, we all know what's on here. Uh, some people prefer the live versions. I think the the I've got the SA CD version as well. Uh, that sounds excellent. It's very sound, uh, but it still stands up as a immense piece of work. Tommy. Uh, what about this a bit later? This is a uh, the Who sell out. Uh, this is um, this is a coloured vinyl version. Just pop that out and show you the, um, 
purple, blue, I don't know, I think blue. Um, on vinyl level, levels labeled. Sounds a bit dodgy to me, but uh, it's a bit Dutch or something in, uh, made in the EU. Uh, and we have to go stuff it up. Uh, so that's who sell out uh, version one I've got. Uh, this is a record days uh, release, a record store days release. Uh, the kids are all right. I think this is a very good release. Uh, this is probably my favorite cover. Um, the lads under a union jacket. But, uh, I think it's the Royal Albert Monument opposite. Albert Monument opposite Royal Albert Hall, but I stand to be corrected. Um, soundtrack, primarily, of the of the film, which is still stands up. Uh, those who have seen it, there's some uh, very good scenes and stuff in there. So that's the kids that are all right. Record Day version. That's Store Day version. I can't quite get right. the words up this morning. This is the Who Live at the Film All 68. Fairly recent release. Again, this is a, a, a triple album. Pretty long version. Nice picture on the gatefold sleeve there. Uh, my generation takes up all of uh, Record 3. Uh, part 1 being 17 minutes long and Part 2 being 16 minutes long. Uh, so there's a bit of right, a bit of both there. And, uh, uh, triple album. Heavy. Uh, more ways than one. This is another record store day release. I, I particularly like this one. This is the Odds and Sods. Uh, as you can see, you keep the hype stickers. Uh, get a bit anal, yeah, because I hype stickers. And I, I, I just sit them up the side. I'm not one of these people, I think I've said this before, who will keep it completely sealed. They will play the records. Just nice to have the, I think, the packaging as it was presented. Uh, for historical value, if nothing else. Um, so again, to read this, uh, this is a replica. So for this one, is a double album. So it's got a bonus tracks if you want on three and four. Uh, so it's got the... Record one is the original album, and then there's the it's a uh, half speed master, which seems to be a little bit of a craze that went on for has been going on for a couple of years now. Uh, we could debate the merits of that for on another video at some point. Odds and Sods record store day release. This is another half speed master, and this is the free LP edition of um, of Who Live at Leeds. Uh, after the Stones get your eyes out, I think this is my second favourite live album. It's more than a live album in some ways. It's almost like a, an album album. Uh, uh, this is a triple. So it's got all of Tommy on there, which obviously is not present on the one I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, so that's their free LP edition. Has to be mastered at Abbey Road. Of course, most famously associated with the Beatles Abbey Road, so, but loads of other groups. This is uh, another version now. This is a standard uh, version of out at the moment, which disappointingly, and I did have the original of this, which is uh, a cry and shame, which was, it's just got fake stuff, but it used to have all the, the original stuff. No more, no more. Perhaps I'll get it second hands at some point, but uh, which is pretty disappointing really for release. And this, this is a few years ago. So I think uh, there has been a super deluxe version, as you know, of the, who albums, which are mostly CDs, so they're not in my collection. I haven't. Uh, they are like eighty pound to go. Uh, we'll be coming a bit, a bit more about that after. This is the Who Are You, the last uh, album, Mr. Moon on, with this odd, ironic, not to be taken away chair. Uh, I like this album. Uh, I do like it. It's got all the cables and uh, equipment on the back. Strong songs, obviously a classic uh, or longer version of Who Are You on there. This is a uh, an updated version from, uh, from the nineties. The original uh, Who on the Brunswick label. This is not an original album; it's a re-release. Uh, it sounds damn good when you play it, and it's quite punky uh, album. Um, uh, I think it's well. It, it's a great picture on front, obviously. I think and good lettering and stuff like that. It does. Uh, it has lasted better than some of the albums from that time. Uh, it's regularly in my uh, uh, 
LP showing off sort of frames. Uh, debatably the best album, I don't know. Who's next? Uh, due for Super Deluxe uh, treatment soon, I think. Uh, which is, uh, it's not an original. It's, uh, it has got um, inner sleeve stuff updated and all that, a bit more. I think Barbara O'Reilly, of course, won't get fooled again. Uh, classic tracks, classic album. Um, getting towards near the end now. More coming up, a bit more up to date. This is um, the HMV 1921 series Nipper One Limited Edition. Uh, Three thousand one hundred and twelve of five thousand, apparently. Got off off the website. As you can see, I've done my trick of sitting aside to keep all the hype stickers and information on there and the, the bar thing at the side uh decent album uh i haven't played it that much to be honest so i don't know whether the test of time will stand out there when these uh, legacy groups i'm gonna use that word legendary groups release new albums they tend to be a lot of fuss about doing if they're half decent this is an half decent album uh whether people keep playing it as much as they do like who's next or who by who are you? Who by numbers remains to be seen? Test the time, I suppose. Um, the, it's the two LP version. Uh, the second is a, a basically a greatest hits sort of uh, half of it. Who's 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 next? We won't get fooled again. Single edit and Barbara O'Reilly, My Generation, Who Are You, Beyond Blue Eyes, Pinball Wizard, the Seeker, and Eminence Friend. Not a bad, not a bad little. Uh, greatest hits uh, commanding album there really uh, some of my favorites definitely here's the um the day of release sort of version of that um so this is the single album version standard issue sort of stuff um, last but one now this is a uh, who hits 50 a double album greatest hits uh got a fold out nice pictures uh Nice product. Um, uh, two discs, uh, usual um, suspects, uh, with a few spanners from the works. About zoot suits on here by the high numbers, uh, and two uh, two releases that were new at the time. Real good looking boy and be lucky. Uh, squeeze box for you. You know uh, pictures of Lily, etc. etc. Pop art sort of cover, modish modish overtones, I suppose. And last but not least, this came yesterday. Uh, this is the Who Sell Out uh, release, which is getting a lot of publicity. There was even a, on Sky Arts last night, this documentary I recorded in the Classic Album series. Uh, so this is Double Album. It's got, uh, I've left the usual trick, keep the hype sticker on the front. Uh, so there's a, a bonus uh LP, a bonus LP, if, if you want to call that, that uh, what, what, what's paid for these now. This, I think it's just 28 quid on Amazon. Uh, the Super Deluxe is 80 quid. Even I bought that a bit for five CDs and a bit of uh, paraphernalia. Um, it's a classic cover. Uh, it's a classic album. It bears listening to look really well, I feel. Uh, so there you go. So that's my Who um, vinyl Re revisited. Uh, I'll be along with the Who CD revisited at some point in the near future. Thanks for your um, for your attendance. If you're watching, I make it through to the end. Uh, any comments are welcome. And as I said, I'll be along with all revisited version. So goodbye for now.